after getting your prescription for your radiographs from your dentist, you are going to check out the Scanex um, PSP plates from your professor. You will be given your films in a black box. After exposing your films in your unit, you will wipe down the outside with the PD Care wipes and you can place them back in the black box, writing your name and the patient's name on a sticky note or in a cup also labeling it with your name and your patient's name. This will be given to the clinical assistant or RSA for the day. The left side of the clinic, we use the Scanex scanner. We have one that will scan four images at a time. It will scan an FMX in just a few minutes. The first thing you need to do is turn it on and there's a power button right on the front. And when you press it, the power and the eraser will light up in blue. The next thing you're going to do is log into the adjacent computer. You're going to log into your patient's chart into EagleSoft. Click on the radiographs. You're going to go to New Exams. The options you have for the PSP are going to start with ScanX. So for our purposes, typically we're going to be using the ScanX FMX. You have ScanX FMX with vertical bite wings. You also have the bite wing options. So I'm going to click on FMX to begin scanning these images. One thing that's really important to note is that right now, you can see I have one image highlighted. If I right click and acquire from the ScanX here, I'm going to only save one image. It's possible and it has happened to scan nine, uh, 20 images and it's only going to keep the first one. The other 19 are completely deleted and we have no way to retrieve them. So it's really important to remember that you click on number one, click acquire from the bar at the top, and confirm that all 20 images are highlighted. That way as you scan in all 20, it will fill in the slots in numerical order. This will be the screen in which the images will begin showing up. You're gonna click start. Then on your ScanX machine, you can see that the one, two, three, and four are lit up in green. You're going to open your ScanX plate, remove it from the barrier. There are four slots right here. You're going to put the film in this slot right here. If you're shorter than about 5'5", five, five, this can be hard to see, so you have to kind of go by feel, and it's really easy to accidentally stick it behind the slot. So be very careful, make sure that the plate is in the right area. Make sure the plate is very um, even across. If you scan it uneven, there's nothing we can do to straighten that image up. I'm going to apply gentle pressure so that it will um, suck it on down in there. While this one is busy, it turns yellow. So as soon as that one turns green again, that means it's ready for another plate. I'm always going to do letter towards me. So remember, black out when you're scanning gentle pressure and the ScanX is going to receive the film. For demonstration purposes I just have five PSPs to scan. The plates will fall down into the bottom of this uh, scanner. Sometimes they do get stuck behind the rubber gasket so it's important to make sure you get all of your plates back out. Go ahead and scan this one because my number one is green. As these come out, we want to clean them off so they have no fingerprints or any artifacts on them. You're going to get a gauze, open up the denatured alcohol, press it down, get your gauze wet, and then just gently wipe off the back side. Once it's dry, we need to re-barrier the plate, exposing the film side to as little light as possible. You're going to get the appropriate size barrier, put it in the barrier, letter side down, the A down, black out, so you can read it from here. Film is against the black side so that it can't be exposed to light. Attach the adhesive. Press. These will be given back to your student uh, clinician and checked back in with the professor. We sign them in and sign them out to you.
over on the computer, all the images will scan through to a certain point, and then when finished is an option, you can click finished, and they will distribute in the order in which they were scanned. Obviously, you're not going to scan them in the order in which they were taken. So at this point, you can rotate and flip your images, drag them to the appropriate area in order to mount them. You just right click, you can rotate 90, 180, 270 degrees, mirror, flip, whatever needs to be done to make sure the image is, is correctly placed. So you will do this with 20 images. If you have retakes prescribed, you do the same thing. We check out the retake images, and then when you're ready to scan those in, you'll have all 20 of these full. So you're going to want to open a new template. We go back to the FMX. It's going to ask, it's going to let you know that your images have been changed and do you want to save the changes? You want to click yes. If you click no, you're not going to lose anything. The only thing you're going to lose is the flipping and the moving. So it's not a big loss. That's something that can be redone if you forget. When you scan in your retakes, we bring you one of your films. When you scan in your retake, you're going to once again click acquire. Start. My Scanex is ready. I'm going to scan it in. see it coming down into my preview box. It takes it just a few seconds. It likes to get down to a certain point before it allows you to finish. My retake is in its own template. In order to move it into my original FMX, which you're going to be submitting for the dentist to give you a diagnosis from and submit that for grading, we need to move this one from the retakes into your original. So you're going to right click, you want to relabel your exam, Scanex FMX retakes, so no confusion. Then you're going to right click your image and copy it to the clipboard. Once it's copied to the clipboard, you go back into your original FMX. You go to the image you're wanting to replace, right click. For a demonstration, I'll replace one of these buttons. You're gonna right click whatever image you're replacing, acquire from, and you're gonna acquire it from the clipboard. It's going to ask you which image you want to keep, and you just confirm which one, which one you want to keep. So we're going to keep our new image, no, it's okay. and it's going to replace that image and send the other one to the recycle bin. If you accidentally double-click the wrong image, your professor can re retrieve that from the recycle bin for you. So once everything is in its correct place in your FMX, you will then have your dentist give you the diagnosis. You will have your patient sign and patient signatures acknowledging that they've received the diagnosis for whatever x-rays you took. And then you are going to document in your auto note under student radiographs. You're going to document exactly which radiographs you took, radiographs exposed, the type and number, the reason, and your first and initial and last name. And you're also going to put in there any retakes that were exposed. Once all the documentation is complete, your patient has signed, your auto note's in there, the dental auto note is in there, you are ready then to have your radiographs submitted for grading.